Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to get objects moving and when they move off the edge of a form for them to loop back around onto the other side. So, for this there are a few different components. We've got obviously a picture box with a picture applied to it. We use a timer to handle the movement of the, the picture box or object. And that is predominantly it. So if we look at our basic layout, got a picture box in the middle, with a picture applied to it. I've customized the name of that. So the name of that, if we scroll down to our design section, oh, got to make sure we're in properties. So it's been named PV underscore plane. And I've added a background image for the picture and changed the image layout to stretch. So go ahead and create the basic form with the picture box with, an Im with any image change the background image layout to stretch and with the picture you go through choose local resource import go through your files and you can add the picture in and import it then you'll want to go down and change the name of the plane and you also need to add a timer. A timer can be found in all Windows forms. The timer, or you can just search in the box for a timer. And I've gone and renamed this timer, timer underscore game. So now I've got the program running. Now we don't have any actual movement on it at this stage. So the first thing we're going to do is just get this plane moving along using the timer. So to get this timer running, we first need to select the form. I'm going to double click on the form to add some instructions that happen when the form loads. Now what I want to have happen is for the timer to start, mine's called timer.game, and I'm going to start that. Now if we run this, we're not going to actually see anything happen. That's all very well for now, but we now at least have got it moving. Now we're going to add some code onto the timer game. So I'm going to double click on timer game. Now I've added timer game underscore tick. So this happens each time this timer ticks over. So each time it meets a certain criteria, this will happen. So by default, it's every thousand milliseconds. So now what I'm going to go do is basically allocate, put some code in that's going to move this object. So I'm going to go pv dot underscore plane gets me the plane dot its left location so that will get us this top left like x coordinate obviously if I wanted to move on the right as well I could use pb underscore plane dot top is assigned to pb underscore plane dot left plus two now I'm going to start that and run the program and we can see our plane is moving across. Now we've actually got a bit of shorthand that we can write for this. So anytime you want to update a variable and just add something onto it, we can use plus equals to and two. So that will add on, do that same code as before, but just add on two. If you wanted to go the other direction, we can do a minus. But let's turn it back so it's moving in the positive direction. Good. So we've got it going, but the plane is going pretty slow at this point. So we want to go and speed that up. That's where we're going to go back to our loading form. And before we start the timer, we want to change its interval. So we're going to go timer underscore game dot interval. Interval is a variable. And we're going to set a time. Try a few different things. I'm just going to put 25 in here. And now when we run it, you can see the plane's moving fairly quickly. But we run into the problem. Once it's off the edge of the screen, it keeps on going all the way across. We need to get it, so when it gets here, to loop back around. So this is where we get a little bit more complex. So we've got to add some more instructions. Now, thankfully, vb.net has a bunch of instructions included onto it. These are called events. These happen every time something occurs in the program. 
we've actually used some events already in the previous code you know when we ran the timer and on the form to start up the, when the form loads but this time what we want is going to happen every time this plane moves we want to check something so the little lightning bolt in the properties gives us our events and I'm going to scroll down and find location changed I believe it is in the property change section so I'm going to double click on that and that has added a location changed event that occurs or is handled when the plane has its location changed. So if that becomes true, whatever bit will be in here will be run and updated. So what we need to do is have some way of working out if we're at the end of this. Thankfully, the form knows its width, knows its height. So what we're going to go through and do is basically use an if statement. So if pb plane dot left is greater than or equal to me means the object I'm currently in which is this form dot width so if it is greater than the width then do something else I'm just going to put a message box here just to show that what's happened and we'll just run that and we'll see what happens we should get a message box that pops up once the plane is fully off the edge. Oh, I've got a whole bunch of them because I haven't told the program to stop. Now, there's a bit of pro bad coding on mine, so I'm going to hit the stop debugging mode, which will cancel everything. And I'm actually going to get rid of that code. Now, what I want to do is move that plane again. So we can use it similar to what we had before. pb underscore plane underscore dot left is assigned to 0 which gives us this position here because we start at 0 here minus the width of the plane thankfully everything we draw by default has a width so I'm just going to start this and now we've got a program where the plane is looping around over and over